Hello and welcome to the Oral Health Channel. I'm your friendly neighborhood dentist, Dr. Rudram Mohan, and today we are going to be talking about geographic tongue. Let's start. So today we are going to be talking about geographic tongue, a benign condition of the tongue, which usually does not present with any symptoms. However, it can produce some sort of discomfort in some patients, such as burning sensation on the tongue surface. So what happens in geographic tongue? It's very simple. Your tongue has some filiform papillae which are generally not associated with taste. So therefore people suffering from geographic tongue do not have any problems related to taste perception alteration. However, when these papillae undergo atrophy, that means they are thinned down, they have some adjacent raised keratotic areas. That means some whitish areas that are there which produce the map like geographic pattern on the tongue. Now what happens is whenever we see that tongue in the mirror, we generally get alarmed because there is so much of information out there and we generally think that something bad has happened. However, let me tell you, it is a benign condition that means it's non-cancerous. Secondly, it does not have much of symptoms and it is self-limiting. By self-limiting, it means that it will heal on its own. However, there is no ascribed cause to this uh, condition. That means there are associated disease-like conditions present with which you can probably have geographic tongue such as psoriasis, allergic rhinitis, ATOP, gastrointestinal disorders and also emotional disturbance episodes. So what I'm trying to say is that there is no particular uh, treatment modality for its you know, uh, you know, know, resolution. It generally resolves on its own. However, if you have a condition that is pre-existing with this such as psoriasis, you might want to get yourself checked out for that and start the treatment for that. Also, in some patients, you might feel some sort of burning sensation which can be taken care of with the help of trimethylone acetonide and multivitamin therapy. What I'm trying to tell you is that why it's known as benign migratory glossitis. Yes, that's the scientific name, benign migratory glossitis because every time a lesion resolves, it comes into a new place and that appearance is different. So a lot of times I've seen that this is associated with people who have iron deficiency anemia and hence would require any sort of iron supplementation and a balanced diet to support the micronutrient demand of the body. Also, if you are a person who is generally anxious and has a lot of panic attacks or anxiety attacks or emotional disturbance like episodes, there might be a chance you might be suffering from this as well. It is definitely found that there is a link between, you know, uh, episodes of anxiety or emotional disturbance with geographic tongue and they resolve with the help of the resolution of the emotionally disturbing episode as well. So this was today's episode. You don't need to worry about this condition much until unless you have absolutely very severe symptoms and it will generally resolve on its own. So you don't need to worry about it. And this was the episode for today about geographic tongue. Please like, share and subscribe and please stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you.